In this video we are going to look at how to save a project and how to load a saved project. As you can see we have, uh, we have data in this project ready to save. We can either click on one of the icons on the, on, on the icon on the toolbar or we can click on the session save project items from the menu. We choose where we want to save the project, we're going to just put it on the desktop and we give the project a name. I'm going to call it test and click save. It will tell you that it has successfully saved the project. Now if we look at where the files have been saved, if we go to the desktop and search for search for the files you will see that in this case four files have been saved so one for the um, each of the any layers that are there one major project file and a session configuration file now we're going to go back into the session menu and clear the session as I want to show you how to reload the project so now we're going to load the project that we've previously saved Again, we could use the toolbar option or we can click on session, load project. There is a list of recently saved projects if you go down one of the menu options, but this particular project isn't here because it only gets saved when you exit Groundhog. So we're going to load back in the project that we have just saved, that is pull test. And addition, in addition to loading the actual object types back into the data tree, it also reloads the windows that you have saved. The map window is, say, is presented back in the same place where you left it, with the objects in the same state that you left them. The section window also includes all the layers that you have previously saved on that section window. 